He's always stood by my side. He's always been my God. And when my friends, them so-called friends, walked away and turned back on me, God is right by my side. But look, I got my glasses on there. I can see real good. Hey, y'all show some love for the one and only Rocky Mountain's own, the baddest producer. <laughs> the baddest producer that has ever hit I'm gonna say the universe, man, cause you good at what you do. And I appreciate all you do for Step 98. You give me the best music. And I see that you have won on yesterday, man. Y'all show some love for Rocky Mouse on Ray Braswell Jr. Ray Markable Studios right here in Rocky Mount. Man, you bad. You bad, man, you bad. Yeah, you bad. She said she wanna win some more paparazzi. All right, okay, come on. Who can sing? Come up here. I need, I, whoever want to win, come up here. I, I, I'm going to do something real quick, fast, in a hurry. I don't need but three ladies. Just three. Just three. If you can sing, just three. The first three ladies. Come on. I'm going to see. I'm going to see. Okay. I got I got contestant number one. Come on. I need, I need three. Contestant number two. She said, what I want to hear. Uh-oh, we got Pat LaBelle in the house. <laughs> Is in the house. I need one more. Okay. Oh, wow. How well do you have to be able to sing? You ain't even got to be able to sing a note. But you got to be able to sing the song that I'm going to ask you to sing. That's all. It's going to be easy. Who wants to go first? Seeing God has always stood by my side. Yeah, yeah. God has always by my side as always been my guide when my friends walk away they turn their backs on me and peace is my favorite song y'all God has always stood by my side that's the end of that contest y'all said y'all didn't know the song I needed somebody to say the song that know the song I ain't trying to play y'all I mean I just <laughs> all right y'all give it up for step 98.1 FM we still have just one more one more rare one more okay this is go I'm gonna make this one real easy real easy Really easy. Really easy. I'm gonna make it so easy that you can't even be a part of it. <laughs> All right, okay. Can you come up here? You listen to 98.1, right? You do. I need you to name, come on. Name it, come on. You wanted this part, come on. Yeah, you gotta tell me first. Nah, I ain't gonna tell you. You gotta come up here. The first person that can come up here and do a drop for step 98.1 FM. The first person that can come up here and do a drop for step 98.1 FM. I see my angel right here on earth, Miss Faye Murphy of Rocky Now, Hey, Miss Faye. Hey, Miss Faye, I'm coming to you. I done seen you now. You rocking your step 98.1 FM t-shirt, girl. It look good on you, too. Miss Faye. Miss Faye, do a drop for the people that don't know what a drop is like you do every day on Step 98.1. Watch that queen sitting over here. Okay. Don't get Good evening, everybody. I am Faye Murphy from Rocky Sound. When I went out to 98.1 for the first time, and I got on that gospel train, that was the best thing I ever done in my life. And ever since then, my blessings come from everywhere. Everywhere. And I just want to thank God for stepping the share. 98.1. There you go. There you go. There go you some paparazzi, man. That's what a drop is. A drop is letting the folk know how you enjoy the gospel train on step 98.1 FM. August the 6th, 5 o'clock. Key and Auditorium in Tarboro. We'll be celebrating our second anniversary. And I tell y'all, folks said it wasn't going to last 30 days. But look at God. 
I thank God for all the many sponsors that he has sent to the radio station and say, Steph, we want to be a part of the gospel train so you can keep the gospel going, not only in Rocky Mount, but Step 98.1 FM is being heard all over the world, whether it's by Alexa, the Fire Stick, your computers, or your cell phone, stephanieradio.com. And I do thank God for all that he is doing in my life and the staff life. I just thank God. And I was supposed to give away a ticket, but um, Rev, you ready? Amen. You ready? Very quickly before we move forward, we want to take this opportunity to, to bless and to thank, amen, the Juneteenth Committee and the Empowerment, Juneteenth and Empowerment Committee. If those uh, members of those, those committees are here, would you just come down front and let Rocky Mountain love on you for just a minute? Isn't this an awesome event? Amen. We want the committee to come right down front. Those that are here, those that are out here and free, come right on down front. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, committee. Right here, right here. And this thing started Friday night when we honored all of our AB honor students, amen, in several of the schools right here in the city, and amen, over 200 students got certificates, amen, for the AB honor roll on Friday evening, and it moved to Saturday morning. We had the bike rodeo, amen, one of the largest bike rides we've had, amen, showed up on Saturday morning, and we had an awesome time. Awesome time. Came back out here, amen, yesterday evening and continued, amen, to have a marvelous time and then show back up here today. And then we have a ball today. Hallelujah. So come on, put your hands together one more time and give this committee some love. Amen. We thank you. Listen, y'all. Are we excited because John P. Key is on the way? He's on the way. Are we excited? Are we ready? Are we ready? Hallelujah. <laughs> Listen. Amen. When he gets here, we want to make some noise and let him know how much Rocky Mountain enjoys his ministry. Amen. Of song and and we just want to let him know, amen, that all over this community, we celebrate him. Amen. And so we're giving him a few more minutes. I'm going to ask, amen, Steph, if she got, amen, another giveaway. Amen. Another ticket. You going to do a ticket? And she can bless somebody. Okay. All right, all right, okay, okay, all right, okay. Let's see, let's see. It's easier when you're on the radio because you have to look for a certain caller, and then that caller have to have the chance to get it right, and they have ten seconds to get it right. All right, I want to. I really want to give this one away. Okay, the first person that can come up here and tell me where the anniversary will take place. I just said. It. Where will the anniversary take place? I need to know the name of the place that it will be taking place. Where will it take place? You can't just tell me, Tarbert. Everybody knows it's in Tarbert. Where will it take place? One, the first place. Two. That's good. Okay, hold on. I got four of y'all up here. That's good. Oh, I'm glad. Oh, I like this. Oh, yeah. Uh oh, one on Chicken Die. That's Jessica. She Jess Marina on Chicken Die. Y'all gonna go with her? Rose on Chicken Die. What? Rose, come on, Chicken Die. Oh, I like this. Alright, I'm gonna come to each one of y'all and I'm gonna ask you to sing a song. 
Uh-uh, 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 come on, Rose. You seen, you seen Tiller, girl. I already know you. All right. Now, I have a group that's from Oak City, North Carolina, that's going to be on my anniversary. And they call themselves George Dickens and the Gospel Disciples. I just need you to sing a piece of one of their songs. I don't know this song. I know that one. I need a piece of one of they song. And they from Canada. They are not from Oak. They from Oak City. They live in Canada though. Boo. I'll be right back. It's beautiful. I just need. Hey, John. Come here, baby. Hey, John. John. Come here, John. Come here. You were up here early. I know you eating, but come here. You were up here playing. You might can help one of these young ladies win. He got a mouthful of chicken, french fries, hamburger, hot dog. I don't know what it is. But y'all, can you? This is the son of the late great George Dickens Jr. Y'all show him some love. Now, now George Jr. Baby, George Jr. Second, yeah, second son. Now I know you got a mouthful of chicken, a hot dog, a hamburger, or whatever that is from. Look like Zaxby. <laughs> hey, can you just hit a note for us real quick? Just one little note. Oh. That's all I need y'all to say. Oh. Oh. Yo. She sounded more like you. You get that ticket, baby. That's one of the cops for the side. It was just that simple. Bro, you could have hit that note, girl. She just won her ticket to the second anniversary of Step. Are you a faithful listener of the Gospel Train? Do you hear the Gospel Train? You don't hear it that much. Why you don't hear it that much? What's going on with you? You be at work. Oh, okay. Well, you need to get you some earpiece. You know, stick one in your ear and listen to it from your phone while you're at work. All right. But I'm going to hook you up with the ticket. Huh? The bus. The bus is her. The bus is her. The bus is her, cause it's harvest time, y'all. <laughs> it's harvest time. How many of you need a <laughs> need a prayer? You standing there need a prayer. <laughs> oh, have mercy. I'm excited too, y'all. I'm excited. I wanted to be here on today, and I'm here. And I'm thanking God. My daughter is here. Jamara, throw your hands in the air and wave them like a. Oh, my baby girl is here, y'all. I'm excited, and we're gonna hear Pastor John P. Key. Hey, Rev, and this past Thursday, you did a word on the airways for us. Never mind. Never mind, Rev. Because they always say you get a preacher the mic. They, mm, no, never mm. But it was a good word on Thursday, Rev. Good word. I, I, I can't even pass you the mic on that one because you might take us to church. All right. But y'all, we're getting ready to hear from Pastor John P. Key in just a few moments as he's getting ready. All right, I'm gonna give away another ticket courtesy of Mr. Camilla's Dancing. Camilla's, how you want me to give it away? Okay, Any kind of way. Okay. If you have on an orange shirt, stand up. Orange. Anybody here in an orange shirt? I see one. I see two. Okay, she got her hand up. Three people. They have on an orange shirt. Who want to go? Are you from this area? You been here about a year? Sir, you participating in the orange shirt? You participate? Do you want to go to the anniversary? I'm going to hook both of y'all up with a ticket. All right. One courtesy of Camilla's Dead Sea. The other one is courtesy of Minister Alvin Jones. He has purchased tickets for me to give away on today as well. I'm going to the car to get them. Go ahead, Rip. Amen. Come on, come on, y'all. Put your hands together. Amen. The time is drawing now. John P. Key is on the land. We are, amen, ready, amen, for some awesome gospel music from an awesome man of God. Amen. Amen. Uh, amen. As they would say, hailing from uh, Durham, North Carolina, by way of Charlotte, 
Oh God, you all know the song, Outside of the County Line. Amen. So as they're setting the stage, amen, we also want to give a shout out to our food trucks. Amen. Come on, put your hands together and give them a great big hand. Amen. If you need something, amen, make sure you visit these guys. Also, amen, we recognize and in honor, amen, I see Dr. Thomas L. Walker and his new bride. <laughs> Hallelujah. And so we're just blessing God, amen, for the move of God. Again, we want to celebrate all of our fathers on this awesome, blessed Father's Day. We do recognize and honor all of the good dads, real dads, amen, real dads. And as I shared this morning, real dads are not, amen, always in the house, but, but real dads don't have a problem paying their child support. Oh, I can't get no help out here. Real dads, real dads don't have, amen, don't have a problem going to the schoolhouse. Real dads don't have a problem showing up at the PTA meeting. Real dads. Don't have a problem with, amen, not dropping their kids off, but bringing their kids to church. Real dads. Have I got any real dads in the crowd? Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Listen, again, we want to make sure, amen, that we show Rocky Mount's love as John P. Key comes to the stage. We want to let them know Amen, amen, that Rocky Mount, amen, is a city that don't mind celebrating. We want to let them know that Rocky Mount is a city that don't mind showing love. We want to let them know that Rocky Mount, amen, is a city that don't mind opening up your mouth and giving God the praise. Have I got any praises out there? Any praises out there? Anybody not ashamed of the God that you serve? You're not worried about who's sitting next to you. You don't mind giving God glory. I'm talking about real praises. Come on, make some Holy Ghost noise. So listen, as I shared with the church this morning, Amen. Before the day ends, amen, if you have not had an opportunity, amen, to reach out to dad, if dad doesn't live with you, when you get away from here, you make sure you take the opportunity to reach out, amen, and love on dad, amen, call him and tell him that you love him, tell him that you appreciate him, amen, we may not all be all that you desire for us to be, amen. But we are just declaring God is not through with us yet. Uh, so, amen. One, two, two, two. If you show love, maybe, amen, he'll, he'll show even more love. And God will bless him to be even a bigger blessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, two. Amen. Amen. Paul, turn up Pastor Keith in a uh, bass mix. Just a mic. Uh, turn his turn his mic up in the front just a little bit more in the center. Hey hey, all right that's good.
All right, y'all, don't get anxious, don't get tired, don't get weary. Amen. We're looking at just another minute. Amen. Maybe a minute and a half. Amen. And we're going to begin. So I want you to stay excited. I want you to stay on the edge of your seat. Get ready to explode as John P. Key makes his way to the stage. Again, we want to thank, amen, the Juneteenth Committee, amen, and the city of Rocky Mount for making this day possible. Juneteenth, every year in the city seems to get a little bigger and a little better. I don't know, amen, what they got planned for next year, but I know they're already talking about it. And so we're just going to believe God. It's going to be big. Oh, God, it's going to be big. And we are just so thankful and so grateful, amen, to be here and to celebrate, amen, this, amen, momentous occasion, the day in which we celebrate freedom. Oh, God, as a people, amen, we celebrate freedom. And, and we can truly say that we are free. Amen. I heard somebody out. Oh, Y'all not going to talk back. I, I heard somebody ask the question. Are there any free folk in the crowd today? Come on, y'all. Don't mess with me. If you show up free and you know you free, come on, wave your hands. Amen.
to be here. Yeah, all kind of lies. He wasn't coming. John Peaky I ain't gonna show up. I am show up. And then I ain't gonna expose him. I might because I ain't got nothing to lose. I ain't scared of him. A preacher gonna call me from here to my I don't know if you wanna do that. Our city has gang fire. I am a gang. I'm a gang by myself. The Jesus gang. That's what's wrong with us now. I don't know. We need to wait when you can come inside a building. Oh, I'm gonna say something. Let me tell you something. I was saved on the street. That's the truth. I was saved on the street. The drug deal went bad. Yep, my partner got shot for forty dollars. And I told God, "You get me back to the crib, I'll surrender my heart." So for anybody that's scared to come outside and have church, tell them to stay where they are, little sisters. Tell them send for me. I'll come anytime. Yes, I will. I will. I love y'all so much. I'm just happy to be here. How many just glad we made it another day? I'm glad. I'm gonna preach out to call his name right now. And push me. We're going to turn this grass into some. So for Grandma and Auntie and all them that came. And thought you just gonna get a bunch of boom 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 No, I'm from the church. I'm about to sing some church songs. I want y'all to act. We're gonna turn this grass into some 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 wood flow. That's what we're gonna do. Can I get a quick fake record? All right, I'm about to have church and move that out the way. I'm about to dance all around that bucket. I'm gonna take you back to Durham, North Carolina. Outside the county line. Since I'm in North Carolina, I'm gonna tell y'all it wasn't number Roxboro right down the street. You know where it was. Look at somebody say he about to have church out here right now. Found deliverance. 